Okay, these, uh, these, by the way, these are actual letters from people just like you watching the show every night. You have questions, you have comments, you want to know something about myself, you want to know something about Paul, you write down a little letter, you send it into the CBS mailbag, and tonight we could be answering your very letter. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Statistically speaking, the chances of that are pretty damn slim. <laughs> But it's fun, though. You know, it's like playing the lottery, ain't it? <laughs> and by the way, if we do read your letter, you know, speaking of the lottery, you don't win anything. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, letter number one. Uh, Dear David Letterman, do those blue cards you read from uh, really have any writing on them? Uh, Holly James, uh, Kansas City, Missouri. That's an excellent question. That's kind of a behind-the-scenes technical production question. Actually, uh, Holly, I read everything from the cue cards. The blue cards are uh, strictly for my own entertainment. Here, take a look. Take a look at these cue cards right here. The blue cards, see? I'm watching now Wheel of Fortune. You see? See what I'm watching? Oh. Wheel of yes, Fortune. Two ends. All You're right. Three. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Excellent. Thank you. How did you do that? That's amazing. The new Magno cards. Ah. They stick to anything. Oh, by God, you know what I forgot? I hey, let's do the ceremonial presentation of the letters. Letter okay. number two. Letter number two. Alan? Letter number two! <laughs> Letter number two. Uh, dear Dave, did you know that your hands look huge on television? Sincerely, Faith Cotton, uh, uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, is that, uh, that jacket's Faith Cotton, isn't it, Paul? It's very I nice. Think it is, yeah. It's, it's comfortable, it's yeah. durable, yeah, it's, it's nice, fashionable, it nice it's easy to maintain, to it, yes. cleans right up if you spill on it. It's very nice. Faith Cotton. Faith Cotton. Very nice, yeah. yes. Nice. Glad you like uh, it. The question is, uh, did you know that you have, uh, my hands look uh, huge on television? Well, you know, Faith, uh, all my life, I guess I've had abnormally large hands, and it's, uh, it's something, actually, I'm uh, fiercely proud of. In fact, I recently wrote, uh, produced, and starred in an after-school special on this very subject for, for kids like me who have really big hands. Here, take a look. CBS After School Specials is proud to present The Kid with Enormous Hands. <laughs> hey, hey, what's the matter there, Mr. Waterworks? All the kids at school make fun of me because my hands are enormous. Uh. Settle down. I got a little story to tell you. Look at those hands. Aren't those huge? You know, when I was your age, all the kids made fun of me too because my hands are massive. But you know what? Now I'm on television and I make millions and millions of dollars. And those other kids, they're out by the highway picking up trash. <laughs> so you mean if I keep my chin up and don't let it bother me, I can be just like you? Exactly. This has been The Kid with Enormous Hands. Some of my, some of my best work. I really think it's some of my best work. I'm very proud of that. Very, very proud of that. Some of my best work right there. Letter. Oh, wait a minute. I got an idea. Here, take this over here. All right. Just to change it up a little bit. Just to break the pace just a little bit. It's one of these deals. There you go. Thanks. You know, yes. you know what I'm saying? All right. Clean up that cable over there, too. I nearly tripped and busted my ass. Oh, All right, here we go. Get ready. All right. Letter number three. Letter number three. You ever eat at the uh, ever eat the Red Lobster or the Sizzler and you no. have a reservation? No. And then they call you like that to the desk. Oh, is that right? Schaefer, party of six! <laughs> Your table is ready! <laughs> In fact, that's where I met Alan. That's where I hired him. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I him yeah, he was working. He was working the table there at the, the Sizzler. Sizzler. Yeah. Uh, letter number three. Dear Dave, I would like to climb on the furniture in your studio. I am nine years old. Jessica Robinson, St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, now, normally I would ignore a letter like this, but I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm nothing. I'm not a sucker for kids. So what we did, we uh, we flew Jessica to New York City so she can fulfill her dream of climbing on the furniture right here in the Ed Sullivan Theater. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our little friend Jessica. Jessica, come on in, honey.
get down there, honey. Me. All right, get down. Call 911. All right, get down. Help get me. down. I'm busy. Get down, Jeff. I'm disorientated. Right. I'm disorientated. Get down. <laughs> I had to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I'm 49 years old. That one shot when she was getting off the chair. I'm 49. That's the most unpleasant thing I've seen in my life. Uh, yeah. 